Hey guys, Glenn Withers here, one of the founders of APPI, and I'd like to give you a sneak peek into our All the Small Balls CPD course. This is a really, really cool course, especially for those of you that are very movement focused in the way that you teach. You know, a lot of you guys that are out there really taking a lot of classes, a lot of one-to-ones. So it's not as much sort of on the rehab side as say our shoulder or our scoliosis or our hypermobility. This is all about sort of choreography, movement, and variations in the way that you teach. This course was designed by my fellow founder, Elisa Withers, and she's put some really cool combinations into this program for you. So let me give you a sneak peek into how this course runs. So we look at um, the smaller balls that we use. So the soft ball, we look at the weighted balls, and we look at the massage ball. So we go through a variety of exercises and how the, the use of the balls can change, vary, add on. Let me give you a, uh, a little bit of an insight here. So if I take the small ball, first of all, lots of really great things that we can do with the small ball. So, you know, for example, even in the beginning with overhead reach, well, as you know, on the sort of more standard mat work side, we look at overhead reach like this. Now, of course, you could put the ball in like so, but actually what Elise has created for you is a variation around sort of chicken wings where we put the small ball here and we bring the elbow up, which engages the shoulder blade a lot more. And we work through our overhead reach up and over. And can you see how the ball just supports my arm the whole way and helps glide through there? Great sort of shoulder stability exercise differentiation between the rib cage and the arm, and great overhead mobility work. Yeah. So a very sort of small little adaptation with the ball there to an exercise that's one of the very first ones that you've learned on the program. Now we can bring the ball in underneath the pelvis and bring a lot of your um, sort of standard mat work exercises, if you like, and we, we'll teach you how to sort of use the different air in the ball as well as you inflate or deflate depending on what you want to do. But simply putting the ball under here and adding on some of my mat work exercises at either your sort of mat work level one or mat work level three sort of exercises completely changes the exercise again. Gives me a great variance into how I perform the exercises. So you can do the exact same class with or without the ball, and it's very different for your client's experience. So the ball helps in lots of different ways. Helps with mobility, helps with creating a more unstable base, but it also can help with support. So for example, if I look at our abdo preps, if I bring the ball in underneath here, that gives me a great lever to work over so we can come into the arch and then draw back up and over. And arch and draw back in and over. So I'm getting increased thoracic mobility and that abdominal strength. So it really enhances that exercise that you've learnt previously. Um, we're bringing the weighted balls. Now, of course, with the weighted balls, you're probably sort of imagining more upper body work, and we do do a lot of that as well because they add great resistance in. We can get a lot more toning out of the arms by using the weighted balls. But what um, Elise has put into the program here that I think is really cool is that she's actually taken some of the reformer exercises and brought them onto the mat incorporating the weighted balls. And this works because the weight of the balls makes the rolling really consistent. So we can take your foot series, for example, from the reformer, and I can use the weighted balls under my feet, and I can start working through this control. And as I roll, the balls just allow that flow. Let me just get them in a slightly better position for myself. That's it. And as I roll, I can really use the, the sort of support of the balls. And because of the weight, they're very consistent as to where they stay for me. So it works really nicely. Yeah? I can come up and I can bring in through one leg and up, bring in a sort of combination and back. So it's a really cool way to use the weighted balls as well. Now, one movement that I love with the use of the weighted balls is arm openings. 
So I'm going to use the softball here as a headrest and then I come into this position. And as I come up here, by having the weighted ball in my hand, I now create that force and that really helps open me up. So as I come into my arm openings, the weight of the ball is now increasing my mobility as I come back and around. And it might seem like such a simple little change. This is so effective as a thoracic mobility exercise. Yeah? Now at the same time, what's really cool here is by having the weighted ball in the hand, I'm also getting scapular strength and control. So as I come back here, gravity now hits the ball, opens me up more than I could have without the ball, and at the same time, a little bit of shoulder support. All right, so I won't go through the whole course for you, but little snippets about just how these sort of little touches of, of ingenuity and change that Elise has brought into this program is really, really cool. And then we have the massage ball. Okay, and again, really great. We teach you how you can release the glutes and the hip. We teach you how you can release the foot. There's some really great work you can do with the, the massage balls on the foot as well. Even some standing foot release work and bringing the, the balls into your standing warm up work as well, which is really cool to see. Mid back release, cervical release, shoulder release, anterior hip release, posterior hip release, lower back release, hamstring release. We really have a great workshop with the uh, massage balls as well. So all the small balls, it's one of those courses that I think every certified teacher definitely should go and do because it brings that variety into your existing knowledge. Now maybe you're trained through another organization and you want to get some inspiration about how we work. Again, this All the Small Balls course, it's really, really great, especially for those of you that focus on more movement teaching, okay? All right, I hope that gives you an insight into the course. I hope that you take the course, and I certainly know that if you do, you'll enjoy the course extremely. Thanks for listening.